how you guys doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i hope you like this video this is a different world season four episode nine so we have whitley and Dwayne on the couch you know they are basking in the, the newness of this love um that they have they have um they're well whitley is studying for her marketing exam and Dwayne is sitting on the couch enjoying watching her study you know Baby, do you need anything? Baby, do you want anything? Baby, can I get you something? Baby, baby, baby. And Whitley is like, no, nah, I'm good. You know, we, I'm good. I don't need anything. So, um, Ron comes in. Of course, he starts clowning them because they, they, by this time they kissing and stuff. And he's clowning them about how, you know, they, you know, they all, you know, being in love, kissing and all that good stuff. So, we go to the pit. And Freddie is all over the place. She can't make a decision. She said Mercury is in retrograde and it's got her all frazzled. She can't make, she can't decide on anything, you know. Um, Whitley comes in talking about how great love is and how she got another A on her marketing exam and how it's all because of Dwayne and the fact that, you know, their love is just so lovely, you know. Now, while that's going on inside, outside, Dwayne is talking to Ron. He done interrupted a date with Ron, and he's telling Ron, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, I got to see. And Ron is like, boy, what? Now, remember, Ron is so unconcerned about Dwayne C because Ron is like, welcome to the club. Like, welcome to mediocrity. And Dwayne was like, I don't get C's. Like, I've never gotten a C in my life. And he was like, okay, well, basically, you're not a virgin anymore. Like, what do you want me to do about it? And he was like, I don't understand. Me and Whitley, we, 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 um, we, um, study every night. And he was like, no, no, no. Whitley studies. You watch Whitley study. Like you're, you're not studying anything. Whitley is. And he was like, oh my goodness, you know, you're right. He was like, well, what am I going to do about it? And Ron was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like you got to figure it out. So he's like, you know what? I got to go. I need to go study. I got some grad school applications I got to fill out. Like, I need to get myself, I got to get focused again. So Ron, oh, Ron also talked about the fact that Willie always bringing him cookies and stuff, child. So we flip over to class. Ron is in class with, um, you know, the African-American studies class. And they're talking about the time capsule. He pulled out some bell bottoms, a picture of Lola Falana, um, some other stuff that's all from 1970. And he was like, they were, he was like, what do all these things have in common? And they were like, I don't know. Like, where'd you get them from? And he said, I got it from a time capsule buried by Hillman students in 1970. And he was like, you know, what, what would we, what would we put in our time capsule? You know, it's 1990. What do we want people to know, students to know about us in 20 years? And again, it just gives me a, a, a oh my goodness, I'm old moment. Cause I'm like, wow, that would be 20 years. Hello. Uh, really more than 20 years at this point. Um, so he was like, um, so they, you know, they're throwing out all these different things of what can go in the time capsule. And the professor says, well, listen, I need two people that'll spearhead this project of what we're going to put in our time capsule. And he picks Freddie and Ron to work together, which is crazy. Cause you know, of course they're total opposites and you know, all that good stuff. So they're back at the pit trying to figure out what they're going to put in um, the time capsule. And they're, of course, they're fighting over what they're going to put in. Freddie wants to be, you know, all natural and, and environmental and power to the people. And Ron wants to, you know, put in Latoya Jackson's Playboy spread, you know. And Whitley says, listen, I have a great idea. Like, this is the age of video. Why don't y'all make a video and put that in there. And that way you can include everything that everybody wants to say. Like it doesn't have to be one or the other. So of course they're like, that's a great idea. And Whitley was like, and you know, I know the perfect person that can direct the video. Hello, right here. I am her. She is me. And 
they're like, okay, well, you know, Willie going to direct the video. So Willie goes over to Dwayne's apartment to with some cookies. Um, I'm, you know, she's dressed in her little director's outfit, got her beret on and everything, child. Um, and you know, she's basically letting them know, you know, she's wanting to let them know what's going on with the, with the video. And he immediately jumps on her. Like, he's like, first of all, why are you bringing me, um, oh no, before she comes in, he actually has a dream. He's trying to fill out his grad school applications and he can't focus. And he's complaining to Ron, like he can't even answer the first question, which is basically what you want to do with your life. And Ron is like, listen, you need to get it together. Like, snap out of it. It's not that serious. Like, calm down. Fill out the damn application. You'll be okay. So, Dwayne, um, he's, you know, of course, he's like, where do I see myself in 20 years? Where do I see myself? And he closes his eyes and he fantasizes. He sees himself fat, balding, sitting on the couch in the same apartment in a, you know, beat up, dirty, you know, bathrobe. And Whitley comes in as the power executive, hair slicked back, glasses, power suit on. And she's like, Dwayne, like, you have absolutely done nothing with your life. Like, you are, pretty much you have failed. <laughs> you have done nothing with your life. And I pretty much just been carrying you. And I'm going to need you to get it together because this ain't cute. Like, it's it's not cute me taking care of you. Like, that's not, it's not cute. So, I mean, of course, he wakes up with Whitley coming in and she's got a, 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 a plate of cookies. And um, he's like, you want me to get fat? She's like, what are you talking about? He was like, Whitley, get out of here. Um, you know, um, I, I, I need to be alone right now. I need to, I need to think about some stuff. And Whitley was like, well, what did I, you know, like, can I help? He was like, no, you can't help. You could just leave. Like, you can leave. She's like, you want me to leave? He was like, yep, you can leave. And it was, you know, he was really mean to Whitley, you know. So he thought about it. He realized he had been mean to her. So he goes across the hall to go look for her. We see Jaleesa and um, Walter talking, which is cute to see them together. I mean, they weren't together anymore. They weren't dating. But it's cute to see them have this little friend moment. And she's, you know, complaining about her boss at her job. And Dwayne goes over there looking for Whitley. And she's like, Whitley's not here. And she was like, he was like, man, I need to talk to her. He was like, I was kind of mean to her, you know, and I need to apologize. And she was like, well, what happened? Like, what, what what's going on? And he explains, you know, that, you know, he got a C and how upset he was and everything. And she was like, so rather than talk to her about the problem, you just lashed out. Like, that's what you did. And he was like, yeah, you know, yeah, that's kind of what I did. And she was like, see, that's the problem. You know, um, men don't know how to talk instead, you know, talk through your problems instead of just being honest. And y'all don't know how to talk through y'all's problems. So... He goes back across the hall to finish filling out his application. He's like, you know what? I'm just done with it. I'm done with love. I'm done with relationships. And I'm just going to focus on school. You know, I'm going to just focus on school. I'm going to go back to the way things work. So then he fantasizes again. And he sees himself winning the Nobel Peace Prize. And he got everything he wants professionally. But Whitley shows up. And, you know, she was like, he was like, oh, my goodness, Whitley Gilbert, I haven't seen you since. He was, she was like, yeah, I haven't seen me since you put me out of your apartment because you got that C. And he was like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know. And she said, um, he said, I meant to call you. She was like, I waited for your call for a while. But, you know, that was 20 years ago. And so he said, well, I tell you what, like, I got everything that I ever wanted. How about me and you go to dinner? And she said, well, we would, we would love to. And we see that Whitley is married with a baby. And of course, so it's one extreme or the other. There's no middle ground, right? So then we flash to Whitley showing up at the videotaping. And of course, everybody's like, Whitley, where the hell you been? You're late. You're an hour late. And she was like, I've been walking. And she has this whole moment of, you know, woe is me. What did I do? Dwayne, don't love me no more. You know, our love bubble has been popped, right? But as she's talking, the more and more she's talking, the less and less she's worried about Dwayne. And the more and more she starts worrying about this, this project. And so we see her getting into it and she's like, all right, let's go. Let's go people. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's get, let's get working on this project. So, um, we see the different scenes. So it starts off with Kim singing what's going on. Marvin Gaye, acapella. Um, and of course she has a beautiful voice. 
she holds up a sonogram. She said, you know, this is a sonogram of a baby who will be 20 years old by the time y'all are looking at this. And, um, you know, if we don't destroy the earth first, like we really have to make sure that we're doing what we have to do to, um, to, um, protect, you know, protect the earth and make sure that there is something for next, for future generations. So then it cuts over to, um, it cuts over to, um, Freddie. And Freddie has a medicine pouch full with four seeds, filled with four seeds, a bottle of water, and some soil. And she says, if we don't start taking care of the earth, this is, the, the, we're going to destroy it. And this is basically, y'all are going to need this in order to start over, you know, um, be able to start over with replenishing the earth. So then we cut over to Ron. And Ron is just standing there. And Whitley is like, Ron, come on, what do you have? And he was like, it's in my back pocket. And she was like, well, what is it? What is it? And he was like, a condom. And of course, everybody was like, come on, Ron, stop playing. Like, this isn't a sex education class. This is for real. Like, we really trying to... And he said, no, I'm serious. He said, um, HIV is serious. STDs are serious. Unwanted, you know, ch um, teenage pregnancy is serious. And what I have in my pocket is to prevent all of those things from happening. And so, of course, you know, he said, being responsible, you know, that is taking care of the future. And so, of course... Everybody's like, oh, okay, Ron, we see. We, that's cool, that's cool. Um, and him and him and Freddie have like a little pound moment. Fun fact, I was looking at um, one of my little behind-the-scenes videos from A Different World, and I want to say it was either Daddy Allen or maybe have been um, um, Kadeem Hardison, but I think it might have been, I think it was Debbie Allen. They weren't allowed to actually show a condom on TV it was going to get cut from the show if they actually showed the condom. And so that's why he never physically took the condom out of his back pocket. Um, she talked about another example of a scene where Kim was trying to give a condom to Whitley for something. I forgot what episode that was where Kim had a condom in her, in her purse and she went over to her purse to take it out and she went to go hand it to Whitley, but she never actually took the, she, she's holding the purse in her hand with her hand in the purse. And she's like, Willie, I want to give you something. And she tries to give Willie a condom. And of course, Willie's like, ew, I don't want that. I don't want that. And they talk about safe sex and stuff. But I didn't realize that they were never actually allowed to physically show the condom on the show. Um, um, and so that's why they always talked about it. And you never really saw it, but it was an insinuation, right? So fun fact behind the scenes. Anyway, so Dwayne actually shows up. And he explains to Whitley what happened. And she was like, you got to see, oh my goodness. And he was like, yeah. He was like, so, you know, um, and she said, so you want to break up with me? And he said, no, I need to figure out a better way to balance, you know, being a boyfriend and, you know, getting, being a student. Like I got to balance it, but yeah, no, like I ain't nobody breaking up with you, girl. <laughs> and of course they kiss and everything is great. So anyway, that is um, a different world. Let me know what you think. Talk to y'all later. Peace.